Hey guys, Fifi Vic here with a brand new show idea. This is a pilot episode. Um, next week I will have Next Gen, and this is a series that I'm planning on on doing on the next gen if you guys think it is good so this is a pilot uh, version of the show that I'm planning to do it is turbo manager mode basically what I do is every episode is half a season guys and we play it until I get sacked and we play it for the whole week until I get sacked and once I get sacked I start I move on to the next team on the next week so, uh, what I'm doing is I'm managing Man United for this pilot. Um, all the people that you could see there before are players that I've put up for sale. I've gone in and tried to buy Luke Shaw, and I've bought Luke Shaw. I've also bought Mangala. Um, I've accepted an offer for Bebe uh, to get rid of him. I'm getting rid of about 89 players, and I'm going to bring in five or six good ones. Uh, I think that's the way. Um, we allowed eventually allowed Rooney to go for £40 million. Um, I was just getting offers left, right and centre. Uh, uh, he was saying he was not too settled. And so I've got Van Persie up top and uh, I'm going to get a more traditional cam in. Uh, we're looking at Julian Draxler. We're accepting him. We're swapping Lindegaard and uh, £5 million for Ter Sturgen. And he's going to rotate with De Gea. And um, we are humbling on as you can see uh, we're going to try and make a deal to swap Valencia and two million pounds for Walcott and uh, we are accepting a bid from Tottenham for Raphael um, basically guys uh, there's just a lot of there's quite a lot of dead wood in my opinion at Man United a lot of players I do not rate and they're the players that I'm going to try and get rid of now uh, the deal goes through for Testergen and uh, we accept a deal with Sampdoria to sell Makeda for 1.1 million. And the idea behind this series, guys, is hopefully just that um, maybe like it, it's just fun to see things go rapid, how long it takes me to get sacked. I reckon it'd be like three or four episodes this week or something before I get sacked. And um, you can see you can see how much uh, who I buy for how much for, how much I can sell players for. Uh, we buy uh, Rami. Um, from uh, Valencia, I believe. Uh, we the offer the deal with Walcott goes through eventually, and uh, these are just pre-season friendlies that you're seeing right now, guys. But then we're going to get straight on to the uh, first half of the season's matches. In the comments, I need to know what you think of this idea. I need to know um, if I was going to, if I'm going to do it for next gen next week. Uh, what team do you want me to do it for? And I need to know if you were doing Manchester United, um, who would you buy to improve them? Uh, you can see there we've got Verratti as well as a CDM from PSG. And uh, yeah, and any improvements you can think to make to this idea as well um, would be really, really good. Uh, my cat's meowing at me for some reason, which is nice. Um, so we get into the Community Shield, the Charity Shield, whatever it's called now. And uh, we play in Wigan, obviously, because they won the Cup. And we do win that game 2-1. Uh, I decided to get rid of uh, Darren Fletcher. Obviously a club legend, but he's past his best and he's very injury prone. So I think £6 million is a good price for him, to be honest. We're going to move him on. And we're going to look at buying uh, Yang Envia. Uh, from the Russian League, a very strong CDM. Uh, first game of the season, I believe, we're playing Swansea and we win 3-1 goals from Hernandez and Van Persie. Uh, we we send out Butner on loan. I haven't given up on Butner at all. I do think he's a talent, but uh, we're going to let him progress uh, in another team on loan for now. Uh, we managed to get uh, Envia in the end, and uh, we get into a Premier League game against Chelsea, and we do manage to edge out that game as well. Uh, Envia scoring on debut. Uh, we get into another game against Crystal Palace, and we win that one 5-1. Goals galore. We accept a deal to sell Johnny Evans. He wasn't a top person that I was definitely going to sell, actually, but we got a good price for him, and uh, that is what matters. We are in the Champions League, and I literally do not even know where this team are from. Luzerne? Luzerne? Uh, I have no idea who they are or where they're from, but we do win that Champions League game 4-0. And that'll be a good opportunity to rotate the squad if we can qualify for that cup and have a couple of games spare. Um, we lose to Manchester City in the league, and then we lose to Manchester City in the League Cup as well. So that is not a good week to have if you're the new manager of Man United, guys. Losing to Man City twice in a week, and we're out of the Carling Cup, which is really gutting as well. Uh, we beat Atletico Madrid in the Champions Cup, and uh, then we get a game against Sunderland. And things overall at this point, guys, not going badly at 
all. A draw and against Sunderland, a win against Southampton. Uh, we beat uh, Chivo as well in the Champions League. I don't know how they've got in the Champions League. Um, but they did. And uh, we're winning a lot more games than we're losing, which is a lot more that can be said for David Moyes. And um, as you can see, we are progressing nicely. So who should I buy in January, guys? Um, I'm happy with my goalkeepers, although De Gea has actually said he's a bit homesick to me. So I don't know how that's going to pan out. Um... So, I'm happy with my goalies. I'm happy with Smalling and Jones rotating at right back. I'm pretty happy with my centre back pairing, Mangala and Rami. And um, I've got Shaw and Evra rotating at left back. Maybe I should get another young left back, but Butner sort of fills that gap after this season with Evra anyway. Um, I need one more centre back definitely because uh, Rio Ferdinand's only got seven months left on his contract and I'm not renewing it at 100 grand a week. And um, so I definitely need a centre-back, so get your centre-back suggestions in. Um, and I could probably do with a one more winger, to be honest. Uh, Yanazai's not ready to get into this team, really. He's only going to play every now and again. Um, same with Zaha. I could probably send both of those two out on loan if I could get one more winger in. Um, we get another game in the Champions Cup against Atletico Madrid, and we have qualified for the next phase of the Champions League uh, as well and we have beaten Aston Villa a quick look at the league table guys we are on top uh, absolutely rocking it um, simulating these games uh, top of the league with 40 points and in uh, tomorrow's episode you will see me playing uh, you'll see you'll see me playing the second half of this season hopefully not getting sacked thanks for watching guys let me know what you think I've been FIFA Vic bye bye